what is up everybody welcome back if you're new to the channel i'm brian on the beat and today i want to check out the nike react element 87 the official name of the one i'm checking out is called the touch of line and i have it right here big shout outs to my brother jr he got through on essence which is a store in canada i think that's how you pronounce it it's spelled s-s-e-n-s-e -S -S -E, so correct me if i'm wrong and i don't know if essence did some sort of early release or a surprise drop or something i don't know but he he texted me that he got through on this and then when i went to check the sneakers app it said that it doesn't even drop until the 29th yeah i'm not complaining i get to check it out early and i gotta say in hand i do like it a lot let's get a closer look at it let's go we have the box right here and as i mentioned earlier this is my brother's shoe so it is a size 8 it's the react element 87 and there is where it says essence and it looks like the price tag was ripped off but this was a retail of 160 dollars and if you look at the sneakers app it says right there it drops on january 29th it also drops alongside this one which is called the hyper fusion now when i first look at the shoe what catches my eye the most is this translucent upper it's got like a see-through right here as you can see my fingers right there if you blow on the upper you can feel you know your breath going right through it so it's very breathable i think this would be a great shoe for the summertime you can utilize different sock color combinations to go along with your outfit and what also stands out to me is like these pods here now the midsole is a react cushioning which i have tried on a different shoe before i've never worn this one but i think i went to the mall and i tried the the react 55s when they were designing the shoe they tested on a bunch of people who walked heavily throughout the day and these points right here is where it was the most fatigue points on the foot so they added like these pods for for more support and for more cushioning for those heavily fatigued areas and if you look at the heel it's got a pull tab right here and it's got the nike branding there now i'm not sure if i'm the only one that thinks this but the, when you look at this shoe in person it kind of got that vibe to me of like the deconstructed look i'm not sure if they went for that but you can see the stitching right here and on the medial side as well and let me take out the insole right here because it's a fairly unique insole and as you can see it's got like this cork themed insole and it's got the orange nike swoosh and the sizing tag is actually attached to the insole itself if you touch it it's fairly soft very it's got a lot of cushion and because the sizing tag is on the insole there's really nothing on the tongue i mean it's just like a translucent tongue it, it really feels like nothing when you touch it it's also see-through translucent in that area and breathable of course it's got the nike react branding the orange nike react branding on the front of the tongue and if you work your way down you can see flat laces it's got a hit of like the neon green um it's like it, it feels like a suede yeah like a neon green suede right here in the middle and it's got this gray suede that's on the eyelets that's on both the the medial side as well as the lateral side the toe box is also translucent aside from this suede patch going down the middle of the toe box you got the little nike swoosh there and you know what's cool about all this neon hits which i will show you later is when you hit it with a uv light it kind of glows up and here is a look at the medial side now there's no branding on this side but as you can see it's translucent this is the paper that's in the shoe so if in case you're wondering now let's take a look at the out so and as i mentioned earlier these pods right here or the heavy pressure points of the foot where the the foot gets the most fatigue so that's why they added this right here and yeah just a white react outsole one thing i forgot to mention about the upper is the nike swoosh right here now it's not like sewn onto here or anything if you run your fingernails through it you're not gonna gonna feel anything it looks like it's just kind of printed or painted right onto the upper and also it has this black heel cup that wraps around the heel and it has the nike nike react branding where is it over here the nike react branding on the lateral side again this is not my shoe this is my brother's shoe so let me go find him real quick and see if he can do some on feet for us
All right, now one more thing I want to do with this shoe is I always, any shoe I get really, I always hit it with this UV black light that I have, just in case, you never know, there could be something hidden, like a hidden Easter egg or something, you never know. But enough blabbing, let me just cut off my lights here. All right, now all the lights, or most of the lights that are off in my room now, here is the UV flashlight. Check that out. It, you know, really it looks better in person. I don't think my camera is doing it any justice, but you can see the pods right there glowing up the Nike Swoosh, even the stitching along here, which I didn't even notice. The suede, the suede eyelets, also that little suede patch in the middle of the tongue is glowing up. Um, even the stitching right here, the stitching on the toe box, that little Nike Swoosh. And now this is the medial side of the shoe. I just turn it on again. Yeah, pretty much all the same parts. The pods right there, the stitching, the suede uh, eyelets. Now the coolest part is the outsole. Let's check that out. Now we are at the outsole and let me turn the light on. Yeah, pretty much all those, you know, neon green pods glow. So you check that out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, big shout out to my brother JR for letting me review the shoes and for doing the on feet for me. Now I'm curious to know what you guys think of the React Element 87, not just this colorway, but just the, the silhouette in general. And what is your favorite colorway? As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the OG colorway is still one of my grails. I still want to get. And whether you love the shoe or hate it, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And until my next video, see ya. Now this red portion right here is not a part of the picture. Double D and his girlfriend Caitlin added this just so it can feel the picture frame that they got. And now that I have it out of the frame, you can see this no more glare now the person that drew this his instagram account is at crown artist now this is not a paid promotion i haven't even been in contact with that person I just